asparagus is kind of an amazing vegetable. It grows as fast as any vegetable grows, as far as I'm aware. It has one of the highest metabolic rates of any vegetable grown on the planet, and it changes more rapidly than any other vegetable that I know of. As a result, we have to maintain its condition, or try to maintain its condition, with all the tools that we have at our disposal. And probably the number one tool for asparagus storage is to reduce the temperature of the product once it's harvested. So we use low temperature, low temperature storage, removal of the field heat as our number one tool to try to maintain the quality of that product. I would say probably the biggest error that is made is probably trying to delay that movement of that asparagus to a place where it can be cooled. So there are a number of different, uh, I guess, inputs that happen in terms of heat or thermal inputs, some from the sun. So the sun causes an increase in the heat. So if the product is left out in the sun before it's, uh, before it's cooled down, or just a simple delay in harvest. So it's harvested in the field and then not moved. Even if it's maintained in the shade, it's at whatever the ambient temperatures are. So removal of that field heat as rapidly as possible is probably the, uh, our number one goal. And that delay in that, uh, that cooling is probably what we would look at as being the primary mistake that would be made. A number of issues are, are problematic here. So you have loss in sugar. So it's a very highly metabolically active product uses up the sugar. So whatever sugar we have in there for flavor is, is uh, diminished. Uh, ascorbic acid, so we have vitamin C levels that are actually quite high in asparagus. They diminish pretty quickly within a number of days. We have a probably 50% loss, and that's much more rapid uh, under high temperature reg regimens as well. So we have loss in the nutritive quality, loss in the flavor of the product, yeah.